All right, team, so let's begin this practice with a warm up. But before that, let's set a loving, nurturing, and kind intentions for this practice. So let's begin by taking our arms all the way up and reach up, look towards the fingertips, extend it back, and slowly, guys, bring your both hands up front of your heart. Close your eyes, feeling how your palms touch in each other, feeling how your feet touching your mat. Let's bring in awareness for being here and being now, right in this second, right on your mat, and look inside that heart. Find that forgiveness, that love, that kindness towards ourselves and, of course, towards others. Let's set a warm intentions for this practice. Just do what we can do without comparison and without judgment in just being grateful again for everything our body can do for us, not what it cannot do yet. Let's open our eyes and reach all the way up and we're gonna start with a gentle warm up before our longer holds today. So let's go ahead and put our hands all the way inside and we start today with the shorter shrugs. Just a few shoulder lifts straight up guys all the way inhalation through your nose and exhalation through that nose as well good and this practice while we're warming up i will tell you a little bit what we're gonna do we're gonna hold a very basic let's say basic asanas but we're gonna hold them for the longer periods of time and it's exactly gonna be two and a half minutes i'm gonna time us with my watch and in between, we're just going to do a little stretches. But by any means, if it feels too much for you to hold, let's go ahead and turn those shrugs to the shoulders. If it's going to start to creep on you and it's very hard for you to hold two and a half minutes, don't feel like you have to sit there and struggle, right? Go ahead and move those arms to the other side. I want you to come out, readjust, maybe use your child pose and then maybe come back, right? It should be comfortable. Go ahead and do a couple more circles, reach all the way up, inhalation, and on exhalation, take yourself all the way to the side. Keep your both sit bones, guys, on the floor, and all the way to the other side. Reach up over the head, very good. Good work, everyone. Go ahead and take those hands all the way behind and connect them and take them on one side of your body in and out and then on another side of your body in and out through the nose very very good we're going to take our hands right on top of the knees and we're going for this seated cat and cow just to start wake up the solar plexus we a lot of energy stored in our hips we need that energy for this practice and just a few more guys draw the belly in scoop the belly express through your heart draw the belly in and express through your heart again good work and just a few circles you may close your eyes you may keep them open it doesn't matter but i want you to try to feel the movement just feel your body free of the worries of the tangents of obligations just Go ahead and circle right above that mat and do one or two more circles and then switch your direction all the way to the other side. Inhalation, exhalation, do not forget to breathe, just give that body freedom. Let your body feel really, really comfortable. That's it. And one more time, one more circle. Good job. Let's go ahead and move to the kneeling positions just for the couple minutes. We will continue to wake up our spine. So up and down, cat and cow up here on our kneeling position, very effective. Wake up asana, wake up flow for our back. Good. And we talked about um, our props. So if you don't have your blocks, just find something else similar, right, to support. And if you don't have your knee pads, it's not a big deal. Just use the towels or pillows. Everybody have those. And one or two more. Then step right in the center. Reach your one leg up. And just a few movements. Knee to the nose, guys. Let's wake up that body. And just a couple more. Very good. And last one. Do the same thing from the other side to reach 
And exhalation, breathe. And exhalation, contracted belly. Inhalation, extended belly. Exhalation, contract. And one more. Very nice. We're going to shift the hips side to side just a couple times on each side. Breathe, guys. Don't hold your breath. And come on back to the center. Put your forearms on the floor and then crisscross them just like this all the way. And again, cup and cow, waking up the shoulders and the back. Good work. Come on up and bring the elbows of the crown. And another cut and cow. That's good. And now we're going to switch the direction. Go first on your elbows, guys. Cut and cow up here. Full expression. Full expression of your back, of your hips. Don't be afraid of the movements. And come on up. And cut and cow. Just a couple more. Very nice. So the life energy is starting to flow through this body. So come on up, guys. In our first long hold asana today is going to be toe squat on the kneeling position. It's very challenging for some people if you don't have your feet ready for that. So I would suggest you to put your face on the floor when you have to put that, but do not remove the toes or maybe for a few seconds just give them a little break and then go back to the toe squat guys so i'm going to find my timer two and a half minutes feel free to close your eyes and just listen to my voice it's actually probably going to be a little bit easier mind is going to wander but we're going to be holding it enjoy the asana heal the body all right so two minutes in 30 seconds start right now you can again take your hands on the blocks, guys. You can take your hands up front of the heart. Namaste. You can take your hands on top of your knees. Close your eyes. And all I want you to do, guys, is to start to relax your body. That's why we want to use the props. If you're knee sensitive, you want to use your knee pads underneath your knees. If you're toes are too sensitive, the blocks would be too helpful, very helpful to support and take the weight sometimes away and back. If you're feeling comfortable, maybe challenge a little bit. Again, close your eyes and continue to breathe, guys. I want you to do the good quality inhalations through the nose. Feel that belly expanding, abdominal breathing is very healthy. In the next exhalation, guys, contract your belly. Let the air completely go and let the upper body weight melt through your toes towards your mat, towards the earth. Try not to resist, just relax your body, let the body flow, become friendly with the ground and with the gravity. We want just to use the gravity as a friend. The whole purpose of all of those asana in the yin practice, longer holds, very therapeutic for the body, for restoration, for recovery, for the healing, is to let go and trust your body. Mind is going to wander, it's going to tell you what you can and what you cannot, how long is left to hold, but it's just the mind. And we have to be very glad and grateful that the mind is working, but sometimes we have to let it go and just be within and just listen to the true self and just be here and be now, guys. It's an amazing asana for the feet. There are so many therapeutic spots in the feet. You know, when you do the acupuncture, this is one of the primary spots. So we really want to take care of those feet. And we actually almost there, guys. We have only one or two breaths left. And let's go ahead and slowly start to come up out of the asana and go ahead come on down on your knees and let your toes just pat them a little bit on the floor guys just like this very good and maybe sit back if you have to sit back all the way very nice coming back up guys 
And our second asana to hold today is going to be a deer pose. So we're going to take one leg up front. Another is going to stay behind, guys. The closer your feet to the base of the body, the easier it is. The farther it is, it's harder on the back and on the hips. So just find the comfortable position where you can hold. Blocks would be helpful here if you want to release and put your forehead on top on that block. It's always there for you. So I'm gonna start my timer right now, guys. And feel free to close your eyes. Go maybe first on your forearms. Again, use your blocks or pillows if you do have some. Close your eyes, guys, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. In good quality, slow pace exhalation through your nose as well. Try to feel it. Inhalation, preparation, exhalation, relaxation, entire body become limp and loose and rested in that little gap in between your inhalation and your exhalation, guys, is observation. What's happening in your body? So slowly, with time, if your body lets go, start to move a little bit deeper. And remember, it doesn't matter how deep you go into the asana, it's matter how do you feel. It has to feel right. Not necessarily all the time easy and effortless, but it has to feel right. Try to fall, guys, through that hip flexor. Not through the forehead and shoulders. And once you found your spot, continue to breathe. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Let the tension go, guys, from your feet, from your ankles. Let the tension go from your knees, right knee and left knee, right foot and left foot, and everything is rested. Turn your attention and intention inside your body, guys. There is so much to learn and there is so much to explore. And we constantly in a hurry up in this life, learning, achieving, moving forward, meeting new people. But many times we forget to stop, even for the second and just let our body and our soul, our true self to become one and really be present, guys. Really be present here and now. And it's actually time for us to come back up, guys. So take your time, go slowly, coming up. How are you feeling? I hope it feels so good. So this leg, guys, which was up front, is gonna go up and the leg which was at the back is gonna go up front and get extended so i want you to pull your glutes out like very natural so you sit level so you don't pull just so you don't over pull one side and don't under stretch another so sitting nice and flat and we'll begin our next timer so go ahead and if you are a beginner you can put your a little bit farther for my intermediate and advanced go ahead guys and grab your foot and start to slow down and reach with each and every exhalation so we just go a little bit deeper a little bit deeper and don't be afraid for you just to pull a little bit farther to come up back up take a deep breath and just like a bull guys Upper body, remember heart cover. Lower body is a heart cover and the hip flexor. Your hips center so part of the pool. We fold in forward. This is an amazing asana for the back, for the knees, for the hamstring. Keep on breathing. And if you feel pretty comfortable here, everything is feels right. Go ahead and drop your hands guys around your body and maybe put your forehead on top on your knee or somewhere very close i really encourage you not to hang it back without support if it really looks like that then just i would rather you to put your 
counts and all those on the floor. So again, let's look inside the body and just find the serenity, find the peace, the comfort, ability to trust ourselves. Because life is very busy and it always will remain like that. Everything is moving forward, progressing, but it's our responsibility to be aware of being present, to have an ability to slow down when we have to, but do it all with awareness, to accelerate or to slow down, to worry or to get frustrated. We're all human beings. We're going to have those emotions, but the difference is when you're aware of it, because it's nothing wrong to experience the frustration or anger or being sad sometimes, right? But the most important thing is to be aware of it. Not to control, but to be aware and just surrender to that. Time is flying and it's time for us guys to come back up. Hopefully your back feeling good, your legs feeling good. So let's go ahead and give it a quick Sit it forward full to balance both sides. If you can't reach the feet, just use the straps or towels or anything. You have handy any piece of clothing and just pull the belly slightly in, drop the head all the way curved, that's fine. All right, we're gonna go for the deer pose from the other side. So now, the leg was, was up front, hopefully you remember which one you did, right? And another is gonna go back, find a comfortable position. Remember, the closer the feet, and it's easier, the farther, it's a little bit harder. And we're ready to dive for the two and a half minute hold again. So start easy, guys. Start with your elbows on the floor, some of us will be sitting up here and it's already going to feel pretty challenging and I know how challenging it can be. So be aware of it and just don't get angry on your body. Just go ahead and find a position where you can hold it pretty comfortably. Maybe it's a little bit challenging. And from there, start to breathe. Inhalation through the nose with awareness, big, long quality inhalation. And exhalation, gently contract the belly and let the air completely go, guys. Let your eyes to become completely rested. Let your eyelids to become soft. Let your forehead become completely soft and wrinkless, right? No wrinkles. We don't need an extra wrinkles. Bring attention to your teeth and to your jaw and make sure that you are not clenching your teeth because that's not going to help your body to relax. Keep on breathing, guys. Again, inhalation through the nose and exhalation. Let the body naturally melt with a relaxation and serenity within. Allow your body to begin the process of the healing Allow your body to begin the process, to begin the road to more vitality, more health. Keep on breathing, guys, because the power is within. No one can give us a health. We have to create it step by step. Of course, we have to feed our body with a good quality food. Of course, we have to give the body a good quality exercises, but it starts with nurturing and loving attitude towards ourselves, with those nurturing, loving, and positive affirmation towards ourselves as an individual. Keep on breathing, guys. It starts with a good, kind words. When we praise yourself, if we constantly poison ourselves with a negative thinking, as I can't, I would never be able to do it, it's not gonna help. We have to start to feed ourselves positive from the inside first. Come on back up, guys. Time is flying too fast in those asanas. So this leg, which is was up front and bent, is going to come up and the leg is behind, is going to go to back to the front. 
So we're gonna go for the side sage twist. For a mother's side, if you have to move that leg a little bit farther, that's totally fine. If you have to move the knee outside, totally fine as well. But I want you guys to level yourself really nicely first. And feel free to readjust during the position while we hold, but do it at the beginning as well. So I will begin our timer again and start easy, guys. Put your hands on the floor. Maybe for some of us, we're gonna be sitting straight and it's already a big work, right? It's a long time to hold, two and a half minutes. And slowly, with awareness, start to slow down. Start to slow down and let your body melt just like an ocean or the wave of the ocean. Slowly inhalation, preparation, on exhalation, striving towards the front of your foot. And again, it doesn't have to be low, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a practice, but just slowing down the heart rate, slowing down the breathing, slowing down the mind and allow our body to become calm and safe and no stress within, ability to slow down and become present even for a few seconds. It's an art and it's a practice. And the more we practice it, the more we remember about it. Keep on breathing, guys. It's so important. We don't want to wake up one day, 10, 20, 30, years later and don't even remember how we got there because we never took the time to be present that's what would be so sad right so we want to be present as much as possible because life is happening guys right now let's go ahead and try to wrap the arm around if you want to do that you don't have to do it you can put your forehead on top on your knees if that is comfortable for you, it's just an option for some of you if you want to practice that. It's a little bit more on the shoulders and just be where you can be. And again, if you need to come out and do your child pose, feel free to do it and then come back to the asana with us. Keep on breathing, keep on breathing, guys. Keep on breathing. Look inside, close your eyes. Just try to feel the warm feeling, warm sensation inside the body, spreading from the toes to the fingertips. That's how feel, how well you feel right now. Keep on breathing in. And again, it's already time to come out. The time is flying very fast. So the next longer hold asana for us today is gonna be our bound angle or Bhattakamasana, our butterfly. And for the beginners, it can be very challenging as well to hold it for so long. So you might use two blocks or two blocks or one box. And you don't actually have to fold forward all the way. But if you wish, you can do it. And there is also option to go a little bit deeper when you hold your forehead on top and hands underneath. So let's begin our timer right now. And again, sit comfortably. If you need to put an extra pillow underneath your bottom, definitely do it. Try to start to fold, guys, through the hip flexor, slowly, continually opening those hips. Keep on breathing, my friends. Through the nose in and through the nose out. Just slowly, slowly diving down. It doesn't have to be, guys very very deep absolutely it doesn't have to be deep on keep on breathing bring your forehead on the floor or on your feet take your hands under sneak them under and continue to sit up here becoming the one with the physical body with the mind and with the true self many times we identify Ourselves as the individuals based upon our mind. We're smart, we're progressive, right? We can think fast, we can resolve some problems. But the mind is a very, very outer, very tall layer of the being. We gotta be very grateful that the mind is working, right? 
it's a very good thing. Not everybody has a good quality work in mind, and it's something to be grateful for. But many times, mind is too loud, and it prevents us from really hearing, really understanding what the body needs. Keep on breathing, guys. What our being needs, where to slow down, where to push harder. But once we start to listen and slow down, many times we call it intuition. Everything becomes very clear. But again, mind is taking over again, and we listen to the mind. And then what do we say? I should have to listen my intuition. Because your self always knows, guys. Keep on breathing, keep on holding it. Keep on holding it, guys. Just close your eyes and listen to my voice. And again, we're almost there. Let's make a couple final inhalations. Soft quality exhalation. Do not stress. Stress just invites more stress. And relaxation brings and invites more relaxation to the body and to the mind. Let's slowly start come back up very good time is flying super fast guys in our next slow pace hold asana is a low lunge for some of us it's going to be very challenging and that's where you really want to put your knee pads underneath your back knee because it's very hard guys to let the hips to relax and let the body to let go with the gravity if your knees are hurting so you really want to create as much comfort as possible using the blocks is almost essential here unless when you take your blocks out and you can actually let the upper body melt through the lower body without feeling stressed if your body is doing this that's definitely a sign guys that you want to have some blocks so the purpose is here to be able to let go of the tension I'm gonna start our timer right now make sure the front knee is somewhere above your front ankle and back knee as far as possible because if it's a 90 degrees and not a long extension the leverage for the hips the upper body cannot go through the lower body and open up the hips so you have to pull that knee as back as you possibly can without the front knee moving away from the front ankle we practice it in our restorative and regular practice so maybe give your shoulders a couple movements right one at a time two at a time if you need support again guys blocks or the hands on the floor try not to hold your hands up here because it's a it doesn't help because it's your own leg and you're already struggling right you want to find an external support so if you don't have the blocks or books or anything first that you can use if you're practicing at home outside anything you want right beside the blocks so then put your hands on the floor so let's close our eyes this is a very healing and very therapeutic asana it can be challenging that's why i want you to use guys your blocks so close your eyes right now and we continue to breathe inhalation through the nose and exhalation through the nose let the energy guys flow from your shoulders from your chest from your knees to your hips and down towards your feet and down towards the earth nurturing your body healing your body because again healing starts within no one can give it to us we can go to the best doctors in the world take the best supplements the market has to offer read an amazing or listen an amazing audio books right but unless we start the healing within with that internal practice everything is going to be very slow process guys so we really have to continue to breathe and find the truth within start guys to feed yourself with a good nurturing affirmation very simple one maybe start in the morning with one or two right 
I'm feeling very good today. Or I'm going to do my workout today and feel fantastic rather than say, oh, I have to do my workout. Let's go ahead, guys, and slowly come out and straight sit from me. That feels so good. It was very challenging. So the next, guys, asana is we stay in where we are. So you're going to lift your toes, check your back knee. You need to move a little bit farther until your hip will reach the one line right directly above your knee. So find that. And again, you can use the blocks on the side. You don't have to use them. I'm going to start my timer and we start the half split Hanumanasana prep or monkey pose and again start higher if you need to use the blocks you need to use the blocks if you can reach the floor and keep your back soft and neutral and try not to let the knee to pop up too much right i would rather you to go higher and slowly gently through the hip flexor guys continue to fold forward very gentle foot fold forward use your knee pass inhalation preparation exhalation let it go inhalation guys close your eyes take a deep breath through your nose and on exhalation let the tangent go with each and every inhalation and exhalation, let the body relax even deeper. Try to practice your longer inhalations and exhalations as well, guys. So if you inhaling for three seconds and exhaling for three seconds, by the way, try to make them equal as well, because exhalation is normally shorter so we have to pay attention to that be present and then maybe do the next one inhalation for four seconds and exhalation for four seconds as well and so on letting the tension of the body to melt away to become free of tension let every single cell of the body to take care of this asana and at the same time nothing is working so it's like spreading the world right so asana becomes very light very very weightless keep on breathing and the belly slowly going down towards the quadriceps through the nose in and through the nose out we are not hurry up anywhere life is going to be here for us and it's going to bring us only the best but that's how we want it to be we have to start procure that success and the kindness within and then the universe will start to bring us more right come back slowly to come out i hope your feet your knees and your back feeling very good let's come up on our knees give it a gentle stretch up and down and then, guys, we're ready to go to do this low lunge on other side. I was flying so quickly, so I really, guys, want you to step forward and put the knee pads underneath the back knee if you have some, or put the towel or pillows or extra double mat if you have to. Front knee above the front ankle. And again, notice how my back knee is far away it's not up here because this position you can't really let the gravity take the job of the relaxation and straight in here all right so we're gonna put that knee farther away make sure that you not crisscross your knees i'm gonna start our timers i'm gonna put my blocks closer when i need them so start again with a little Gentle, shoulder rolls, good, and then close your eyes or keep them open, whatever you want to do, just make sure again your hips are square or even more open, right, just depend how it feels, if you need to support yourself on the floor, gladly, openly, do it, 
no judgment if you have to come out again no judgment guys no expectations just being grateful for what this body can do for us if we can hold for 30 seconds we'll be grateful that we can hold for 30 seconds if it's a little bit longer or less we'll be grateful for that and all we do we just saying thank you my dear body for serving me so well thank you for getting stronger thank you for the healing and body will become act accordingly this body has a natural ability natural ability to heal itself that's how that body works but of course if we constantly take the step back with our thoughts with our lifestyles that's gonna be hard no matter what you're doing even if you're working out every single day but well, we really have to pay attention what we eat what we think how we react who is coming around us right the people we are together with that's so important what the energy they share with us what energy we share with them because universe the life is a circle is a cycle right it's a velocity what you put in you take it back out maybe not right away but that's what's happening and you know it so we have to start to put those positive those loving those nurturing true from the heart emotions and feelings outside and more importantly actions words it's good but sometimes it's not enough actions would move the world forward right but without the right positive intentions it's going to be much harder so let's slowly put guys the blocks away if you use the blocks with me and we're going to extend our front knee two and a half minutes over it sometimes it feels longer sometimes it feels faster i'm going to start our next timer guys so what you want to do, you want to set your back hip above the back knees where your hips try not to pull the front knee inside and try not to pop it up too much. And start higher guys, it doesn't have to be really, really low right away. And right and left side, always different flexibility, strength, but this type of slow pace practices and yoga practice in general is start to balance our body guys. so slowly with exhalation allow your body to melt down into the asana in through that nose and out through that nose to hurry up if this is the first time guys when you're practicing this style of yoga the most challenging thing is our mind, is our brain, because brain always tells you what's right, what's wrong, what is good, what is not good, what to do and what not to do. The hardest part for the beginners in this practice is to cope with the thoughts. But brain is like a machine. It will always run, it will always fall. And all we can do is to gently start to slow down the flow of thoughts, right? With the breathing, inhalation, preparation, exhalation, letting go. Inhalation, preparation, guys, close your eyes, don't struggle. And exhalation, guys, let it go all the way. In through that nose through that nose and expands that lightness that feeling good sensation through entire the body i want you to acknowledge where the discomfort is and send your exhalation right to that spot let's say if it's a knee right or hip but then don't stay in that discomfort find some comfortable places guys see in your body whatever it is your toes your feet maybe the one fingertip and start to expand that sensation of the comfort so the discomfort can drown at the pool of the comfort come back guys 
nice and gentle the two and a half minutes is already over can you believe that it flow very very fast when you focusing on the breathing and on being here and now so go ahead and take a couple in and out breaths and the next asana we're going to be holding is going to be our puppy pose or on the elbows on the forearms you can also replace it let me show you with the sphinx pose if you feel that the puppy pose on your knees is going to be too much you can do that you can guys use your blocks underneath so let's go ahead and set our tailbone right in between our knees set your knees a little bit farther use your blocks underneath if you have to use them or the soft pillows even better and gently start to bring the chest down start on your forearms guys up here check your hips try not to bring the hips too much forward right hips tailbone right in between the knees and the gently bring that heart down it doesn't mean that your heart guys will go down right away it doesn't mean that at all and rather than try to push the chest down towards the floor i want you guys to focus on relaxation in your back in your upper body guys in your back and in your upper body allow your shoulder blades to become softer and melt away from each other right and if you have to move your arms somewhere else because it's just uncomfortable for you yet then move it somewhere else and again rather than pushing yourself all the way down let your upper body to become softer guys let your ankles to become softer and release all the tension keep on breathing guys soft neck soft ankles come up a few times if you have to come up and then dive back into the relaxation take your head on the side lay your arms on the side if you have to just find that one comfortable position for your body to be in keep on breathing guys and keep expanding the comfort keep expanding the comfort just find any comfortable place in your body and then gently through the exhalation we expand it keep on breathing guys because comfort will attract just more comfort and we slowly gently we'll start our way to come back up give it a couple more extra breathing cycles and come on back up take your hands a little bit wider and fingertips outside and around the spine relax your neck then drop the chest right in between and do it one more time a reach draw the navel in elbows outside and drop the chest right in between feels so good for recovery and we are moving towards the cow face pose and arms going to be optional guys so find yourself on your mat or on your pillows if you struggle to sit on your bottom for longer times right so we're going to take our one leg all the way above the other for the beginner if you find that your foot is hanging here then you have to put it up front so you don't struggle i don't want your feet to hang in the air if you find yourself that you can put your one knee directly above the other knee just like this that is wonderful if not just don't worry about it it's a practice so now if your right knee above your left knee then as an option guys you're going to take your left opposite to your knees and bind with the right which is go underneath i'm going to start my timer right now and again beginners 
you can just put your hands up front of your heart you don't have to connect your fingertips behind however I would recommend you guys to just grab towel or if you have a yoga strap or the sweater or any piece of clothing and just still find that connection use a piece of clothing or towel as the a little extension for those arms guys so close your eyes take a breath it doesn't have to be perfect at all yoga practice in asana and especially this type of practice it's like a gardening right when we place plant the seed we talked about it before when we plant the seed let's say lemon tree right we don't expect the seedling to pop up right away in an hour right or even next day and when it pops up in a pot we never say you are too small you too weak right i don't like you um, we are glad we're grateful that that seedling is there that it's start of our gardening it's planting and then what do we do we start to pour the water we start to feed that little seedling so it can become stronger hopefully we nurture that little plant with positive words of affirmations right guys we don't come and say you too weak i don't like you i'm gonna put another one we are glad that it's growing and we express silently or verbally our emotions towards that and we're really happy so the same with the body the same with the yoga practice the same with anything else in this world we want to nurture the things which start in some new beginnings right and grow it grow it grow it slowly by adding more positive emotion by adding more love more kindness letting go of the resentment keep on breathing inhalations through the nose and exhalations through the nose and we slowly will start to undo those arms if you had that bind give your shoulders a little bit gentle around very good and we actually ready to come out of this asana right now and let's slowly take and undo our legs and for the next asana before we move back towards the cow face folds from the other side i want you to take a wide angle seated position it doesn't have to be super wide whatever is allowed yourself to hold the chest above those hips right and just pull the glutes out a little bit too and we'll begin very very gentle we just go down let me start my timer and we'll slowly start the dive down to the longer hold and again if you want to use the blocks and put your hands on the blocks you can do it guys if you don't want to use the blocks you can use your hands over the forearms i just want you to find any place where it feels right when it feels safe and just continue to breathe in this asana we send the exhalation right to the hip flexor inhalation preparation exhalation dive deeper down and again take your time grow awareness guys in the back in the hips where it's a little bit more challenging where it's a little bit easier i just want you to feel good i just want you guys to feel right if you feel the tension is growing coming back up inhalation exhalation back i don't want you to sit in asana and count the seconds right until the teacher will tell you to come out of the asana just close your eyes guys and again it's a soft forward fold through that hip flexor 
so for her full spirited deep flexor. Take your time and use your breath to help you with that flexibility. No expectations, just enjoy, just be present, explore, see what's happening inside your body, what's your mind telling you. Mind is a very, very fun thing and we have to find that balance in between mind and body because many times mind is willing and ready and striving and the body is not there but we keep pushing it because we don't have the precious connection between the mind and the body and true self we're missing that little link right and now we wonder what is wrong sometimes it's the opposite the body is ready and strong and willing right but the mind is lazy and sluggish and the same thing they can talk to each other so during those practices we slow down we're looking for that connection guys all right let's slowly to take ourselves back to the center we want to do our cow face pose with the arm bind or without on the other side so what you want to do you want to step your left leg across if you did the right or keep it up here or put one knee directly on top of another this can be challenging for some you can also prop yourself with your blocks guys and sit on the block that would make it much more easier if you elevate and sit on the block you can put the knee pads underneath those feet so find the place where it doesn't hurt your knees and doesn't hurt your ankles I start my timer you can guys definitely definitely hold your hands on your knees take your hands up front of your heart or you can come with me and take your right opposite to your leg on top so if your left leg on top then your right arm on top Close your eyes, my friends. Close your eyes. Look inside that heart. Look inside that body. Find that peace, connection, and love within. Many times, day and day, week after week, we live in, in the past, or in the future we always contemplating what if we did these things differently what is going to happen if we do this way or this way and all the fears about life comes from the past experience which is the past which is not here yet and it's irrelevant right or it comes from the future and whenever we really start to understand it it's much easier to move forward because you're not afraid anymore you don't regret about the past right past is the past and it's a learning experience but i want us to learn first to be aware of our emotions our feelings which always good our sensations our fears our inconsistencies or regrets but as long as we wear and we understand where it comes from it's very easy to move forward without fear, without regrets, being open to new things, to learnings, right? To experiences, meeting new people, learning new things. And again, back to the yoga practice, back to the body healing, back to the house. Everything worthwhile requires some work. Do we want it or we don't? The good, the past doctors, they never become the doctors overnight. They used to study, right? The wonderful painters and singers, they practice. So, that happens, but anything worthwhile really needs some work to put in and some patience, right? Let's take our shoulders off and it's already been another two and a half minutes. I can't believe it, how quick the time is flying. And, um, almost the final asana we're going to practice today is our frog pose so 
If you have a double mat crisscross, you can stay in any direction. If you have just the one mat like I have, um, go the lengthwise so your knees are on the floor. I'm gonna go sidewise. I kind of like my knees to be on more slippery surfaces. So once I relax, it starts to slide a little bit and on the mat, it never does. And also I want you to, I want to see you very well. So make sure that in your frog, your ankles directly behind the knees or as much as possible, your feet is gonna be on outer plates. So your knees in ankles aligned and your hips, guys, not up here because you're going to be missing your frog not too far back you're going to be missing your frog but right in between your knees or your tailbone right in between your knees feel free to put the towels or knee pads underneath those knees and again your tailbone guys in between your knees not too far back there i'm going to begin our timer all right just here, put my microphone a little bit higher. And slowly, guys, start to descend. Start on your arms, guys. Start up here, start on your forearms. Some of us might want to be here and it's already challenging. Frog is a very challenging asana. So once your body start to let go, maybe you also put the blocks or pillows underneath your chest, guys. And maybe you don't put any blocks and pillows underneath your teeth. Then continue to breathe. The first thing you want to do in the froggy is again to make sure that your hips are not far away being in between your knees, guys, because it might not look pretty that way and is not deep as you wanted your frog to be, but it's a good form for where you want to grow. Start to relax your ankles, guys. Let your ankles to melt down right and left. If you have to come out, just come out. Do not struggle there in the pain. Come up a little bit higher. That's also acceptable. Continue to breathe, guys. Inhalation through the nose and exhalation through that nose, guys. Keep on breathing, keep focusing inside and within maybe close your eyes and reflect on your practice just ask yourself how am i feeling did i allow myself to be happy today did i smile to myself within did i smile to others did i give at least anyone the good positive word of affirmation today and if it's very early morning for you, just like for me here in Florida, then set an intention to share your love, to share your positive emotions with the world. It doesn't have to be a hundred people, right? But at least with the one person, just make a one person happier today. Make the one person smiling today. One person more belief in themselves. Give one person that affirmation that they force it, that they can achieve, that they can become better, they can heal whatever it is. And from giving back to others, you're gonna start feel healthier and you're gonna start to feel better and even more energy. Are you ready guys? Come on up. I want you to do it quick. <laughs> the longer you do it, the harder it is coming out of that frog. It have so much energy stored but it's also a very, very challenging asana. So come on up, guys. We're gonna make a transfer to the seated position. We almost haven't noticed how the hour, entire hour, entire 60 minutes pass through. So let's go ahead, guys, and extend our legs. And we're gonna give ourselves a good quality reach up all the way and good quality forward fold again this time fold forward and draw your belly towards your legs towards your sides just give it a press or two and then slowly come on back and put your both feet back to your bathakanasana 
recline on the back so find one if that is if this asana does not allow you to relax at all even if you put the pillow underneath your back then i want you just to extend your legs and hold them extended let your toes already to curl any direction they want to curl otherwise just join me and spend with me just a few more extra breathing cycles before shavasana so you can put your hands on top on your belly and close your eyes guys right now feel the warmth of your feet touching each other feel your hands on your belly feeling very happy very open inside and out life is all about living right but it's living in a healthy and vital body let your knees guys to melt away with exhalation all the way to the side right to the right and left to the left and continue to breathe so life is all about the living but living in a healthy strong and vital body so we actually can enjoy it because what's the point if we have those dreams aspirations desires which we can't fulfill if the body is weak and sick so we really have to set a loving intentions for this body intentions for healing for recovery for vitality but we have to do something for that start within with the nurturing thoughts then thoughts procure the actions the actions procure results let's slowly draw our knees guys together nice and gentle and extend your legs for a few more extra breathing healing cycles set your feet guys hips width apart and let your feet to curl outside any direction any depth they want Set guys your arms along your body, palms up, and let your hands to curl any way they want to curl. Make a few movements and make sure that nothing is interfering with your relaxation, buttons, belts, pointy tails, right? Something. Just close your eyes and find your completely your body completely rested on the floor with no points of tension with no heaviness in the heart look inside guys take a big inhalation through the nose and big quality exhalation through the nose draw the belly in feel the energy floating through that body feel the healing starting happening remember body has that natural ability to heal we just have it have to give it a good ground to start to heal nurturing thoughts the right comforting actions for the body we have to take responsibility for our health because no one no one else will no one else will but we can in order to give others we have to have something to give so we have to take care of ourselves grow spiritually stay physically healthy so we can give the love and care to the loved one and the closed one and maybe to the world maybe help to make this world a little bit better but we have to start with them so with that let's take our arms all the way behind behind the hat and stretch those hands away from the fingertips and hold your eyes closed guys Take a big breath one more time and bring awareness in the body. Bring awareness, bring the life, bring the breath in the body. Body is a life and it needs and craves your attention. Let's make sure that we look inside that heart and if there is anything what's bothering you. Any anger, anxiety, frustration, discontent, dislikes towards ourselves or towards others. Make a commitment to let it go right now. Make a commitment to let it go right now so we can free more spots, more space 
for the love, for kindness, and for healing. And with that, let's slowly keep our eyes closed. Come on back up to the sitting position where we started. Take those arms all the way up, guys. Reach all the way up towards the sky or towards the ceiling. Keep your eyes closed and draw your both hands up front of your heart, feeling happy, feeling loved, feeling healthy. Smile with your heart, guys. Open your eyes and take one more deep breath. Inhalation and exhalation. Namaste, everyone. Good job, everybody. I'm so, so proud of you. And I want to hear everything. How did you go through this practice? Was it hard? Was it easy? Were you able to relax and become present or not yet? And whatever results you got, I want you guys to be grateful that we can practice together, that we can move every day, we can serve others, we can be with the loved ones. So guys, please comment below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That's really helping me to make video for you here on YouTube every single day. And I'm really nice to meet you, the new people, if that was your first practice with us. So join on our daily free schedule here on YouTube, virtual gym. Welcome to the result-driven family. And I will see you guys all tomorrow.